Hi, this is uh, a tutorial on how to build a harmonizer in Max. It's very simple. It doesn't. It's not too complicated, so you can just follow, follow along. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to bring out some sound source that we can pitch shift up or down. So I'm just going to go for the default e piano sound because I like it. And let's make sure that we have some. So let's get a gain tilde. Come on, gain tilde. And let's get an easy DAC. And connect that up. Connect that up. And now when we play, we should hear. Cool. So now we need to pitch this up or down or how, or however you want. So for that, what, what, what we're going to use is we're going to use Gazmo tilde. Now, I don't know how Gazmo tilde works, and I know that it needs to be implemented inside a PFFT object. So the best way to do that is you just go in the help file, which is here, and you steal this. Copy and paste it in your main patcher. And the font size of this is a little bigger. Let me just bring that down to 12 so it looks like the others. And in the left inlet, we send in our sound source. And on the right inlet, we need to send in a transposition ratio. Now, we don't know how to do that. Like, at least I don't know how, I, I don't know how to do that. It's some complex math, and I'm bad at math. But conveniently, there's a trans ratio object that you can use for that. So this will pitch shift it up or down. And the way we tell it, like how many semitones to go up or how, or how many semitones to go down, you can use a live.numbox object. And we just go here in the prototype and you find the transposition prototype. And yep, that's it. And then we take a gain tilde, just so we don't blow our ears off. An easy DAC. And now we bring this up and let's pitch shift this up by two. Pitch shift up by four. There you go. Now, this is just one voice, but we want to do like more than one. And conveniently in Max A, the way that we do that is with the MC op is with the MC object and PFFT tilde generously has an MC version. And the way you do that is you just prepend PFFT with MC dot. That's, that's about it. Now, that's the main part of it. Now, the way that MC knows that how many channels that it needs, it, it, it needs to be is from like the top, the top level object. If the top level object is six channels, then uh, MC dot PFFT also will turn out to be six channels. And since we want to do a four a four part, a four-part harmonizer because we like seven chords in jazz. All we need to do is do an MC dot dupe, and we say four. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna take a single one channel and it's gonna duple is gonna duplicate it into four channels. Very convenient. And to control uh, the volume of it, we just use an MC dot gain tilde. And again, you see it has four channels, has four faders. Now we don't have four speakers, so and we have two, so we need to mix this down. So for that, we'll use MC dot mix down two, so it mixes down to two speakers, and MC dot ECDAC. So now we have four channels, four channels, MC mixes down to two channels. Now the way that we target each channel of this MC dot PFFT tilde and tell each channel to pitch shift with a different semitone is we need to be we're gonna use something called MC dot target list. So that targets every um, channel of um an MC or an MC object. This is how we like send messages to every 
um, instance or every channel in MC. You're just going to say one, two, three, four. Connect this up over here. And all those four channels get sent via one patch cable, one patch cord. And da, da, da. duplicate that four times. Connect these up. And now, and now, if you bring this up, and let's go for like seven, nine, eleven. There you go. Now, if you want to control the individual volumes of every voice. You just go over here, bring up an add out a UI, and now you can control voice of every, the amplitude of every voice. And you can go up by 12 or go down by 12, so you can pitch, pitch it down a whole all octave. And this is, app, this is applicable to any signal. So you can do this for voice, you can do it for guitar, you can play chords on your bass. It's really fun. Yeah, give it a try. Thank you.